once again welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here you are most welcome and to all my returning subscribers thank you so much for coming back and thank you for always checking on my videos thank you for always liking my videos each and every time i post i really do appreciate it and not to forget all my new subscribers thank you so much for choosing our culture world happiness and thank you so much for subscribing to this channel and to accept to be part of this channel i really do appreciate you so much may the almighty uh, bless you all so today guys i'm back on the next video and today we are going to be talking about our space the maze so as i said proper spacing of the maze means a result after that or better uh, result after that that's why you're seeing our maze is looking good it's because of the spacing and other efforts or other works we have done so for today specifically we are going to be talking about the spacing as i told you if you space your maze poorly you are going to get a result which will not be the result which you want and if you space it well you are going to get a positive result that everyone will admire and the result which even you yourself who has planted the maze you are going to uh, appreciate because everyone knows how to plant a maze right but the question is how do you do the spacing so in this video we are going to be discussing about the spacing make sure you give a like to this video and make sure you subscribe if you haven't so that you don't miss on another video because you're part of this channel and if you have subscribed thank you so much make sure you turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss on any other video from agriculture wild happiness so guys as i said maize is at least the world's bread because we know it's grown in almost every place for example when you take for example africa we know all of east africa where i come from that's i come from uganda by the way and for uganda if you haven't supported my channel please make sure you do and even the kenyans who are my neighbors and my friends of course i know a lot of subscribers who have really uh, been part who have been part of this channel i do appreciate you so much and i really appreciate you till now really make sure you subscribe if you haven't because you're missing big so that is the brief so as i said the video is going to be about how to do the spacing so it makes sure i give a like and we continue with the video let's go to number one so first of all what we need to know is uh we always have got uh the row spacing that is number one in row spacing how are you going to space your line from, uh, from one line to another this is what i mean when i talk of the row spacing these lines running because this is for the row spacing right then also you have got from plant to plant but still in the same row so that's what i'm talking about so when you're planting your maize and what is to come in your mind is uh, for which is my plant of my maize and which variety of my planting is uh, and which variety of maize of my planting so this is that plant so for us see, um, for me what I know is uh, when you're spacing at least the spacing standard spacing of maize is between uh, 75 to 90 centimeters which is approximately or which is approximately or which equals to 30 to 36 inches from row to row that is standard one at least in between there that is how it is and then uh coming back to the plant to plant that is the second one which means it's now the planting space we call it the planting space because from one plant to another plant that's what we're talking about but in the same row that is what you must know so from plant to plant at least you have to make sure it is between 20 to 25 centimeters which is which is approximately at least uh, 8 inches to 10 inches that is how standard spacing is so it makes sure you don't mess up when it comes to uh, spacing that is the super one right so that is the general spacing and uh, if you do the proper spacing for example row rows if the rows are proper or between 75 to 90 centimeters which means 
this maize or if it's from from plant to plant if it's between 25 to uh 20 let me say between 20 to 25 which means this is real real super spacing or standard spacing and the advantage is here i'm not going to give you all of them but there is a video which is going to come for the advantage alone advantage of spacing or proper spacing is the plants are going to be able to receive all the required nutrients for example let me say okay let me say all the required uh, resources one of the resources is the sun which you're seeing here and right now all of them are receiving the sun and you can see even the way they are growing it means they are going to receive the sunlight properly and the other thing is all the nutrients plants are going to be able to receive properly because of this proper spacing right and not only that one day even the rain or the water proper spacing is going to help the, each of the plants are going to get that rain from uh, let me say the rain or the water that's if you are doing the irrigation so you make sure you don't mess up when it comes to spacing we don't play with that and one thing which makes people to say i know how to plant maize is just doing all those required things that's not it uh, over the next thing you have to look at is the depth right as i said we are talking about the planting and planting takes all these ones the depth means how deep in the soil are you going to plant your maize or are you going to put your seed guys make sure you give a like to this video and make sure you subscribe Turn on notification bell so that you don't miss on any other video. So we are going to the depths. How deep am I supposed to put my seed? So let's see. The depths you make sure you don't cut or you don't dig very deep in the soil because you'll be burying. We don't bury the maize, yeah. We bury uh, maybe other things, maybe human being, but but not maize. Because when you bury, that thing is not supposed to come up again. That is what I'm talking about. Like burying human being. That one does not come out again so you are totally buried but for maize we just plant because we start to see them up again which means how deep uh, in the soil is it supposed to be it has to be you have to make your uh, make sure your uh, your pit or your uh, hole is between 2.5 to 5 centimeters just it's not too much yeah at least 5 centimeters that is how deep it must be such that it's able to germinate uh, very quickly and that's how it or if you don't want to measure in centimeters it can be in inches which means from one inch to two inches that is how deep the maze has to go so we make sure it's not beyond two centimeters right or between it's not make sure not centimeters but not beyond two inches so that is called planting depth right and then the other thing is uh, we are going to be talking about consideration that is point number two right as i said point number one was raw spacing point number two is plant spacing point number three is depth which we have just finished point number four we are going for considerations right then considerations remember i talked about um, the use what are you going to use it for and all those things that's what i was uh, talking about which means now here you are going to adjust it accordingly so for example this is where now we are going to be um, talking about i said when you are going to plant your maize one thing you are going to consider is how, how, for what use am i going to how am i planting this maize if it's for silage making yes i have to consider this basin if it's for grains i have to consider this spacing so that's called consideration which is our point number four right so which means that you have to make sure consideration is in your head you consider what i'm going to use it for which means you can always adjust your spaces according to the use that you are planting your maize for so that is consideration you have to keep it in your head now here for example i'm going to explain to you basing on ours and this video is coming all the way from denmark and this is where we are doing our farming from so that is what you should note so this one we had used uh, 75 by 10 centimeters right this is our spacing and the depths we used still remained the same which means we still used uh, 
five centimeters deep. So that's why you're seeing the lens is looking super good and everything is green and that comes after putting a lot of work including the soil preparation, land preparation, let me say everything and timing, all that work. And as I said, with, when it comes to maize, I'm going to extract most of the videos I make. I'm going to make sure I make for all the videos and I don't want to make very long videos because I want people to learn and people to understand something because when I make very long video or if I'm say let me take uh, the maze video just I make it very long maybe 100 minutes minute. no that's not how we learn a good teacher has to always teach just you let me say for short period not very long because when i teach you very long i'll be giving you lies i which i don't want and which i cannot do so make sure i give you in bits so this is it and make sure you subscribe because more videos are coming about the maze because i came to see for example i have a lot of subscribers from uganda i have a lot of subscribers from kenya because kenya being uh, the mother you know we know them uh, for maize kenyans are known and they know much about the maize so big ups to all the kenyans and big ups to all the africans who are going to be watching these videos or who are watching these videos just make sure you saw the love and make sure you subscribe to this channel right agriculture world happiness so that was about the consideration now the last thing we are going to talk about or i'm going to talk about is the yields right guys you see with the yields now this way you are going to see which yield do I want to, uh, to achieve, right? Achieving the right yields is going to come from uh, the right spacing. This is what is put in your head. Now, if you are achievement, okay, if you, let me say, uh, the yield, if you want to get the poor yield, hmm, just place it anyhow and leave it there. Of course, you are going to see the result. But if you're a real farmer out there and you want to achieve the real thing or you want to achieve the real yields, high yields, right? You are going to be uh, one of the persons or you have to make sure you do proper spacing and make sure you can always use the fertilizers and as i said guys i'm just whispering to you right i don't know but the thing is i'm going to also uh in the next videos i've prepared a video about uh the fertilizers planting with the fertilizer which fertilizer is best for planting and which one is best for vegetative growth all those ones are prepared and also i've prepared the video about uh, uh, the advantages of proper spacing so you make sure you subscribe to this channel right you make sure you subscribe such that you don't miss and also that is what uh I was still explaining to you about the yields. I said if you need high yields, you have got to plant your maize properly. So that means the lining, let me say the, uh, the, the rows must be proper and then also the plant, plant must be proper such that you get high quality yields guys. So guys, thank you for watching this video up to this time and those are the five major, major planting style or the, the ways of planting or spacing or when you are planting the maize you want to achieve those are the things you got to put in uh, in your head during the spacing because as I said spacing doesn't just mean one thing uh, putting one plant to one but also depth means a lot and that also consideration what are you considering right what are you considering the maize that's now where the variety comes so that is how it works so you make sure you really subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss on any other video guys so we have come to the end of this video guys i know it has taken a little bit longer but where the knowledge is we don't always say it's long because we know one thing is maize growing is um it's in fact the world cake it's the cake which the world is yearning for because any country you go to if it's the right season you'll always find the maize if you go to my country uganda you'll find maize if you go to kenya you'll find maize but so long as it's the right season either you're going to find the, uh, the maize when it has dried or you're going to find the maize when people are planting or you are going to find when people are preparing for what uh, for the uh, the maize so that means everyone needs a good news about the maize 
I know some people are going to say the price, the price, but one thing you must know is when it comes to agricultural products, the price will always keep on changing, right? Why we don't know is because sometimes we just pick our mind to one crop and we feel like the other crop is doing better than this one. No, it's not like that. Trust me. I've been, uh, actually not have been, but I'm um, sugar cane farmer, right? And I know the price always goes up, sometimes it goes down. And also the maize, the price goes up and it comes down. That is how it is. And don't just plant the maize because you want to sell. Plant the maize with uh, at least a target that maybe when I don't sell it, I can be using it for feeding my animals, right? Or I can grow, then I keep it for the future. Because I know time will come, the maize in the field are all going to disappear. Or the maize in the market will not be there, but I have mine in the migraine. So, oh granary, I have my grains there. Let me pick and go to the market and I sell. And trust me, by the time you are going to be selling yours, maybe when people are planting, that's when the maize price goes up. So we should not put our mind that, okay, maize is like this. All the agricultural products are the same. And right now, let me tell you, I'm dealing, uh, or I'm working under a farmer who is really big, big, big uh, dairy farmer. But see, he's using the maize for dairy farming. This is yellow maize, right? But he's using for dairy farming. And also, at the same time, uh, these farmers, when you're interacting with them, they'll also tell you, you know what? The price of milk has gone down, but it has never stopped them from producing the milk. And they'll always continue producing the milk. You see them complaining, but everything is okay. They're going on. That is how agricultural products are. You'll not find that this is always going to remain like it is you now, guys. So we have to give 100% support to maize and we have to put our focus into the maize because I know what it can do and I know what the maize is capable of doing. As I said, maize has got a lot of uh, use. So it means still you have to do the spacing properly, everything so that you optimize, uh, let me say you, you use your land properly because when you plant it very far away from, uh, from uh, plant to plant, no, you're not, you're not making the use of your land. You might have 100 acres and if you use poor spacing, you are not going to get anything and your land will be there and you will not be benefit anything and poverty will follow you and it will, it will chase you until no more. So guys, we don't need to be the culprits or we don't need to be uh, the, the victim or anything. No, we must be there and we must be working hard to see that we always have the best products in the market at home the products we are using for example the maize we are eating high quality that's how it is and that's why i was giving you the reference with the kenyans who are doing so great and i've always at least taken a visit to kenya and i know what they are doing and i know how good they are when it comes to maize and big ups to all my kenyan friends if you're there watching please make sure you subscribe to this channel and for those of you who already subscribed i have no problem with you i'm okay with you thank you for watching and thank you for always following agriculture world happiness so guys i've talked a long a bit long but we have now come to the end of this video make sure you give a like to the video and make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed agriculture world happiness is the channel to watch and is the channel to subscribe to and is the channel to stick to thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video